What's good YouTube? In this video we'll be taking a look at a beginner's guide on how to set up and tips for Snapchat in 2022 on Android. If you like this kind of content, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So Snapchat is just one of those great platforms that allows you to quickly and very privately connect with either people around you or your own friends. One of Snapchat's key features is that things that you share with your social group are only kept for 20 24 hours so people in your social group can keep up with your daily activity and you don't have to worry about things like privacy by having a story or your profile being on the internet for more than 24 hours thankfully snapchat is pretty easy to set up and get going and on android there's actually a few ways of installing it if you open up your browser and just type in snapchat the quick link for downloading Snapchat on the Google Play Store should be one of the first options at the top of the search field. From there you just hit install which is usually where open is on my browser here and you'll be able to install the APK file for Snapchat and get going. This is provided you're running Android or a new and newer Android device. We're running this on the S22 Ultra. The second way of installing Snapchat, of course, is to actually jump into the Google Play app. And if you type in Snapchat, you'll see this, the Snapchat logo and an option to install here. If you go into Snapchat on the Google Play Store, it gives you a quick rundown of just how popular Snapchat is. It has over 1 billion downloads and over 30 million reviews and has over 4 stars on the Google Play Store. So definitely one of the bigger players in the social media sphere. Once you have Snapchat downloaded on your phone and you open it up here, you'll be greeted by this screen. You'll notice the yellow Snapchat icon and there's two options. One is to log in if you already have a login for Snapchat. But if you're watching this video, you're probably looking to get into Snapchat for the first time. So you want to hit sign up. And as you can see, you're taken to the Get, a get Start page where you can enable app permissions to make sign up easy. Here, Snapchat will ask you for phone permissions like your phone and access to your files. Snapchat is a social media platform that uses media from your phone and also your phone's camera to share stories and photos with your friends and people around you. So the camera permission is necessary in order to use Snapchat. After that, you'll be asked to punch in your first and your last name. And if you punch that in, you'll be taken to the next screen in the sign up for Snapchat. Next you'll be asked to punch in your birthday and you can use the little scroll wheels at the bottom to scroll to the correct date so you can go to your birth date. After the birthday screen you'll be given your snap username. You'll want to remember this as the snap username makes it easy for other people including your social network and your friends to find you and connect with you on Snapchat. You have the option to change your username here too as well. After that, you'll be asked to put in a password. So we'll just put in a password here, which will be our login password for Snapchat. After the password, You'll be asked for your email address and you can also use your phone number to sign in with Snapchat as well. After that, Snapchat will ask you for your mobile number. This is used for two-step verification and Snapchat will send you a text in order to verify each login. You want to punch in your mobile number so you can continue to the next step on the sign-in. If you're running a newer version of Android, you'll get a text and then this will be copied immediately and you'll be sent the verification code in that text. Android, depending on your operating system, will copy this and place it in the verification automatically. Next, you'll be 
prompted to find your friends where you can sync your phone's contacts with Snapchat if they're running Snapchat on their phones as well. If you have a lot of people in your contacts running Snapchat, this will be a very convenient and quick way in order to sync up your contacts. If you don't know of any of your friends, you can quickly hit skip here at the top right of the screen. And there you go. After you hit the next button, you'll be taken to the main screen on Snapchat. Here are some basic controls on Snapchat and we'll get into creating stories and Snapchats with your friends in a later video, but we'll give a brief rundown on some of the controls here from the main screen. At the top left, you can usually see your profile picture. Since this is a new profile, there's no profile loaded. The below button allows you to take a quick picture and add it to a Snapchat story. This is the main way of connecting with your friends on Snapchat. At the bottom left of the screen is Map. This is one of Snapchat's best features and it allows you to see other Snapchat users in your area that are using Snapchat and see what is going on in your area. At the top right of the screen, you have the option to switch cameras between the front and right facing cameras. Since this video is about how to set up Snapchat, what we want to do is set up our profile picture. So you want to hit your profile there. From there, you want to create my avatar. And then you can either use a photo that you can take directly from the Snapchat app for your avatar, or you can create an avatar here by hitting one of the two buttons below. If you hit skip here, you'll be taken to a screen where you can customize what your avatar will look like. And you can hit save there. And then you'll be taken to a screen where you can pick your outfit for your Snapchat avatar. And if you hit save there, this will be added as your profile picture in Snapchat. So there you have it everyone, just a quick video on how to quickly download, install, and set up Snapchat in 2022 on an Android device. If you like this kind of content, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.